Hi guys, welcome to my first YouTube video with uh, dubbing on it. Uh, so today I'm going to start my first lesson, my first drawing lesson on this channel. Uh, so what I want to start by saying is that on this channel I'm going to start uh, teaching you from the bottom up uh, how to, to draw. We will start by learning how to sketch and gradually work our way up from there. I'm a painting and drawing teacher and student. Uh, I have had experience teaching for about six years now and it's something that I really love. And in my experience, um, good painting comes from uh, good basis. So what I always start by doing is teaching my students the basics of drawing and I start by teaching them how to sketch. Now there are tons of ways of doing this, uh, this is just the way that I do it uh, or the way that I learned how to do it. And we start by reducing all our objects uh, into geometric forms and shapes. By reducing them to geometric forms and shapes we start from drawing everything that's bigger and then work our way down to all the details because what I notice is most people they want to go straight to details. Most of us have the tendency that we want to make it perfect from the get-go uh, and it doesn't really work that way. Uh, or at least when we are beginning, we, it's, we are making it hard on ourselves to do that that way. So, first I would like to teach you how to sketch. And you can see me um, doing all those squares and straight lines and finding the center of the cylinders and the spheres and the hoops for for my little uh, glass that I stole from my mother's cabinet <laughs> and you can see me uh, gradually uh, measuring comparing height to wide, wideness comparing how, how tall the glass is to how wide, wide the glass is and then finding other smaller measurements in there and comparing them to each other. First I put my pencil um, parallel to my object and measure it with my finger, uh, putting the tip of the pencil on the top of the object and my finger at the bottom and then I turn my pencil horizontal and see how wide it is in comparison. So that's how I take measurements. I take measurements like that and then I translate them to my paper. I find the center, so I found a cylindrical shape so that I can find the center very easily and work my measurements around it. I draw a square around the first measurement that I take which is the biggest measurement that we take, is the complete size of the tiny glass. And then we start taking the measurements that are in there and finding out where they, where they sit so that we can shape. After we have the basic shape drawn out, we start by, take, by um, cleaning up the drawing. We clean away everything that doesn't matter. I'm sorry, my eraser is not behaving, wasn't behaving when I recorded this. Um, it made me really frustrated. It never happens. <laughs> so I'm never buying this brand again. Um, brands are sometimes important, not so much when you are starting, but keep in mind that at some point you will need to find better materials. Um, I already have my favorites and we will keep talking about it as we go through the next videos. Uh, today's video is just a basic shape. So after we take all the measurements and we put the basic shape down 
we start working our way through uh, shading. Shading is very important, especially when you start going for weirder shapes, uh, because sometimes lines won't be able to go and show uh, shapes that we want to portray, because sometimes the, the there are no edges, and normally we put a line when there is an edge, so we can't fully translate what we are seeing with only lines. Um, so I like to start with graphite materials because they are they they make um, crispier and smoother uh, shades, and we can control easily how clean or how dark our drawing gets to be. So normally I start my drawings with a 3H pencil, which is a harder pencil. And I make a very uh, clean, very light sketch. And then I, the first shading that I do, I do with that pencil. I change pencils when I think that I can't do any more with this one. You will see when we change pencil that when we do, our whole drawing that looked almost finished, it will change. It will become very light because we are now putting in darker shades. This is a 2B or 3B pencil. I'm just gonna go ahead and shade around the, the darker spaces that I couldn't do with the H pencil. Now, the, the pencil gra gra grading um, is relative to the person who's using them. Um, some people have very light hands, some people have, have very hard hands and press on the pencil when they are drawing. Um, so, the way I work with the 3B might not be the same way you work with the 3B, so keep that in mind. Try out many pencils, buy a box of pencils with a bunch of these different gradings, um, and try them out gradually. Just keep in mind you should start with the harder pencil, which is the lightest shade, and work your way through uh, to the darker shade pencil, which is the B pencils. You don't need to go from B to 2B to 3B to 4B, you can just go H, 2B, 5B, okay, um, and, and work our way through them, okay. Um, my glass isn't in the exact position that I was drawing it, I took the picture afterwards. Okay, because I thought maybe I should pick, put a picture so that you can compare and if you want to copy through the same picture, you can. Also, um, another thing that I find with my students is that they tend to think that you should not move the paper around. Um, that depends on the situation. Uh, so right here you see me turning the paper around because it's easier for me to to do the shade that I want when I move the paper around. So I go ahead and turn the paper the way that it helps me the most and then put the paper back on its place. So don't, don't, another thing is don't get discouraged uh, if you can't do it perfect. Uh, just keep practicing. Start by very basic shapes. Uh, people, I also see that my students have the tendency to want to go straight to the hardest things. Uh, but in my experience, you should gradually go up. Sometimes you can actually witness that you had a big jump in your learn in learning. I think in English you normally say uh, learning curve. Yeah. So that's that isn't always the case and you should be patient and do it for fun no pressure um, 
doesn't have to be perfect. It has to, it has to be convincing. So the, the intention I have with the first exercises is for you to learn how the shapes act and behave with each other. Uh, and perspective. You, you, you need to know how to measure and how to um, compare objects to each other so that you can visually, um, you can visualize a grid that helps you put everything together. to each other but for now we are just doing the basic shapes that that we wish to understand and so don't start by putting a lot of objects together just one object uh, slowly make it harder on yourself okay slowly so after this one we are going to make a small teapot after this video, the next video will be a small teapot and after that we are going to make them be together on the same image, okay? I hope you I hope you enjoyed this, okay? This is my first video, please don't judge me. Um, if you liked it, please uh, subscribe li and like the video and share. See you next time, bye!